My name's Will Gray, I work for Security Scorecard and I look after our enterprise customers in the UK. Security Scorecard is a company that measures the security risk of organisations. So people typically use that uh, to measure their own risk and also to measure the risk of doing business with other organisations. We were founded by two former Chief Information Security Officers who were trying to deal with a challenge that they had, which was they were trying to understand that by exchanging information or doing business with other organisations, they were introducing a risk to their company that they couldn't measure. And so the whole concept of Security Scorecard is to be able to look at an organisation that you do business with, whose security program you don't control, uh, but to be able to make a judgement as to what risk you're introducing to your organisation by working with that company. We're very specific, we look at cyber risk. So there are other elements of risk with organisations, financial. If you think about in consumer credit, uh, if you're going to offer credit to someone, you do a, a credit check. You look at them and say, what's their payment history? Uh, have they defaulted on loans in the past? Do they have excessive debt that they carry? We do a similar thing, but on a cyber risk perspective. So we measure for vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and then based on the severity of the issues we identify and the volume of those issues, we then create a score for that company, which is from A to F. We look at the public footprint of an organization. So every company in the world has a physical footprint on the internet. We define what that is and, and carve that out of the public internet and then we score that based on a certain set of parameters in order to give you a risk of breach essentially for that uh, company. The workflow for, for our customers is that they have a new vendor that they want to onboard. They will put them into our system and we rate about 12 million companies today so oftentimes we already have the score for that organisation but even if we don't we can create a score within a couple of minutes and then the way that that data is interpreted is that we've seen that organisations that score C to F in our scoring platform are about four to eight times more likely to be breached than companies that score A's and B's. So typically our customers at a basic level will use that threshold of, is this company an A or a B? Okay, then for the initial check they pass. If they're less than that, then there would be additional actions that they would take in order to start to try and mitigate the risk that they've identified. Because there's two elements ultimately. You identify and you report on the risk, but then you also need to mitigate it and that involves you taking certain actions. So we will give guidance to you as to what you need to do to fix the things. We won't actually fix them ourselves, but we will say to you, like, this is the risk, this is what we recommend as a remediation. And then once that remediation has occurred, you let us know in the platform and we will review that. It's a trust but verify model, so you tell us you fixed it, we review it, we agree that you have indeed fixed the issue, and then we update your score accordingly. So then you can communicate back to the person that's measuring you, yes, you identified this issue, we fixed it, our scores increased, and so our risk is reduced based on that, on that improvement. We'll work with anyone, of course, uh, but we focus primarily on organizations that have complex or large supply chains. That isn't really industry specific, although we do work with uh, the top eight insurers, nine of the top 10 pharmaceutical companies. We're very heavily utilized in banking. But overall, really any company that wants to manage the risk in the supply chain is a good customer for us. What we do today is look from the outside in. So we talk about, we take a hacker's view of the risk for an organization. Lots of our customers are asking us to quantify that risk. That seems to be a big trend that we're seeing at the moment. If you want more investment into security tooling, you need to be able to quantify the risk and show an ROI on the investments you've made and also to take an inside out view. So trying to complete the picture and give our customers that 360 degree view of the outside in rating, but also the inside out. So what processes, controls, certifications do you have that are improving your security posture internally as well as externally. So we're, our goal is to try and bring that together over the next 12 to 18 months.